CBC Kids and welcome to week four of our series WISE. This week our big idea is we can ask God our questions and our Bible verse is Nehemiah asks to rebuild the wall. Chapter 2, 1 through 20. So now for our activity we're playing what is this? Now I'm gonna hold up a really common household item and I want you to pretend like you don't know what it is and come up with as many ideas for what it could be used for as you can think of. They can be silly, they can be realistic, they can be anything. So, do you know what this is? Let me pop it open. You've all seen one of these, but pretend like you don't know what it is. What could this be used for? Hmm, maybe it could hold toys down inside of it. You could close it up and maybe, I don't know, try and scrub something with it. I'm not very good at thinking of other, other ways to use this item, but maybe you are. So pause it and think of as many silly things as you can that you could do with an item like this. So now that you're back, it's so important that we ask God questions because sometimes we need to ask God to show us a new perspective when we don't understand what we are seeing or experiencing. Now it's time for our video lesson. Well, hello there, you little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. And I'm Cassie. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome. Welcome to Grow TV. Introducing your host, Carl. And your co-host, Cassie. Where we learn, where we grow, and we talk about Jesus. Once again, welcome to Grow TV. So Carl, how are you doing today? Not doing too bad. I have a lot on my mind today. Really? What do you mean? Hmm, I don't know if you know this about me, Cassie, but I am an intellectual. Intel intellectual. An intellectual? Really? I am a person of vast intelligence. My brain is so big that it's puzzled. Multiple doctors. Hundreds, actually. Hundreds. I'm sure it has. So I was sitting at home with my enormous brain, and I wrote down some questions I think we should discuss and ponder over. Converse, if you will. Do you really feel like this is the best use of our time? Too late! The copyright-free classical music is already playing in the background. How much deeper would the ocean be if sponges didn't live in there? Why doesn't glue stick to the inside of the bottle? Why do we drive on parkways and park on driveways? If a cow laughed, would milk come out of its nose? Why do skydivers wear helmets? Why does your nose run and your feet smell? Why don't your lips touch when you say the word touch, but they touch when you say the word Separate. Wow, that was... Remarkable, life-changing, thought-provoking. I was gonna say interesting, but sure. <sighs> I get it, Cassie. You're jealous of my ginormous brain and the questions it has created. I don't know if that's true. Besides, those were good questions, but kind of silly. Silly? Yeah, did you have any more? Well, sure, but mm, I don't know about them. Can I look? Uh. Sure, I guess. What's my purpose? What does it mean to live a good life? How can I learn to forgive? Wow, Carl, these are really good questions. You think? Of course, I think these are questions you should be asking God. Wait, I can ask God questions? Of course, have you never done that? I don't think I have. Well, let me tell you this, God would love to hear you ask those questions. Really? Yeah, and you never know. They might be answered in really cool ways, like Nehemiah. Nehemiah what? Nehemiah, from the Old Testament. Oh, Nehemiah. I remember that story, but for the people watching who don't, hmm, how do you say, remember the story, how about you give like a brief recap for them? <laughs> Not for me, because I know it. 
Okay, Carl. Well, a long time ago, there was a king, and the cupbearer of the king was named Nehemiah. And the walls of Nehemiah's hometown, Jerusalem, were broken down. They were in shambles. What? That's awful. I mean, I knew that already. It really was. Now, Nehemiah cared about his hometown so much that he prayed to God that he could return and help build the wall back. Now, that's a big question. Not only did he have to be the cupbearer to the king, but building a wall would be like a ton of work. It would, but it meant a lot to Nehemiah, so he knew that he had to ask God about it. Once Nehemiah was around the king, the king knew something was wrong and knew that Nehemiah wanted to ask him something. So the king asked Nehemiah what was on his mind. Did he tell the king about his desires to go back to Jerusalem? He did, but first he prayed to God about it. It was important to him that he ask God first, and then he asked the king. Wow, that's pretty cool. It was. It was even cooler that the king said yes. He was going to let Nehemiah go back and help build the wall. No way! That's great! Well, because he just asked the question. Yep, but it only worked out because Nehemiah asked God the question first. So God was actually with Nehemiah when he asked the king. Well, I guess that answers one of my questions. Which one was that? Well, I've been wondering how I'm going to get answers to all my questions. I never thought about asking God, but I will now. That's great to hear, Carl. I'm glad you know now that we can ask God our questions. Well, hot dog! That's our big idea! Today's big idea is we can ask God our questions. That's right. And on the count of three, let's all say it together. One. Two. Three. We, we can, can ask God our questions! We can! God will answer. In one way or another. <laughs> right? Yes. So what are you going to do with that big list of questions, Carl? Well, I'm going to keep them, and I'm going to ask God the questions. Hopefully I can get some answers. I bet you will. Maybe to even some of those silly ones. Well, there you go again. There's nothing silly about this question. What cheese is the moon made out of? Oh, I thought you already knew. The moon is made out of mozzarella. Wait, what? Bye, everyone. We can eat the moon. <laughs> Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. Okay, welcome back. Now that we've seen our video lesson, I want you to grab your Bible and open it to Nehemiah 2, 1 through 20. Now you can read this with an adult in your house or you can read it to yourself. When you're done, I want you to come back and we'll have a short discussion about what we've read. Okay, great. Now that you're back, let's jump into some questions. So, we know that Nehemiah wanted to follow God and rebuild the wall around Jerusalem. First, he had to get permission from the king. What big questions did Nehemiah have before he rebuilt Jerusalem's walls? Take a moment to think about that. You can pause and discuss with uh, family members or adults in your house or just on your own. So Nehemiah asked the king if he could go to the city of Jerusalem and rebuild the walls. He also asked the king if the king would write letters to people who could help Nehemiah. The, the king agreed and sent people with Nehemiah so that he would have a safe journey to Jerusalem. So first, he let the king ask him what the problem was, instead of asking to leave for Jerusalem right away. When the king said yes, Nehemiah asked very important things so that he could get the job done. Surely it was not an easy task, but Nehemiah knew that he had already done the hard part. He already came to God. This shows us that we can go to God with our questions. So last question, I want you to think about this one on your own. What did the people think of Nehemiah when he decided to rebuild the temple? Our next activity is called In the Form of a Question. I'm not sure how many of you have actually seen the show Jeopardy, but in the show Jeopardy, you have to answer in the form of a question. So for example, I would ask this question, or I would state this fact, the king who asked God for wisdom. And you would reply with, who is Solomon? Okay, so let's start. The king 
who ask God for wisdom? Okay, try and answer that one in the form of a question. So what Solomon had brought to the temple that he was building? I'll give you a second to think of it. What is the Ark of the Covenant? Okay, on to the next statement. What the two women were arguing about in front of Solomon. Okay, take a minute and you would answer, what is a baby? Two things that we learned this month that we can ask God for. So take a second. What are the right words and our questions? Okay. The city Nehemiah wanted to rebuild the walls of. What is Jerusalem? Now it is time for our memory verse. James 1 verse 5. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, and it will be given to you. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for listening to and answering our questions. Remind us to always come to you with our questions. We know that the more we ask, the more we will get to know you. Thank you. Amen. Thanks for joining us this week. We look forward to seeing you soon.